Welcome, this is the Dwarven Forge Build of the Month for October of 2019. And in the spirit of Halloween spirits, we have a spirited build for you. This is the What Ails You Tavern. Because every adventure needs somewhere for the adventurers to have some drinks, to do some downtime, to get into a bar fight, something like this. We've made this build using one of our City Builder System Hamlet sets, one tavern accessory set, and we've populated it with one of our Townsfolk miniature set. Let's take a look at this build, shall we? There's a whole tavern here. We also have all these extra pieces. All right out here. And then back to the tavern. So welcome to the What Ails You Tavern. For the sake of this build, we're gonna lift off the second story. It should live here, but you can't see everything, so we're gonna lift off this thing and check out what's underneath it. You can also do that for gameplay if you wanna have be running two floors at once and have people down here and up here in combat and the like. So out here I took a couple of these uh, railing pieces and just put them out like a um, kind of like little entryway. You could tie your horses up there. There's a little beggar out here. I dressed, I used the townsfolk minis, one set of townsfolk minis to dress this place up, but obviously you could use whatever minis you have. Uh, so the front door is here. When the uh, thing is built, we have a magnetic wall up on the second story here, so they have the sign at front, so you can paint the name of your tavern on there. Then you come on in through this door. That's our front door, and you welcome into the tavern. So we've got one big main area here. It's mostly made with Tudor pieces, uh, but in this back area, I use stone around the hearth for the, uh, the fireplace. All right, so we have our first table over here. Uh, it's hard to see with these lights, but we have these little flickering flame LEDs, and the candle flame flickers. I have another little table in the back here, and this one has, in the corner here, there's this little nook behind the staircase. There's a little nook where like, a shady character would hang out with their kind of back in the corner. If they needed to, they could jump out this window and flee the town watch or whatnot. We have our bar area here that kind of breaks up the room. If you want to, you can get around the bar here to get to the back room. In the corner here, I'm using these torch stands. So these are these cool little LED torch stands you get with a Hamlet set. The idea is you put your PC mini on that and move it through the dungeon and it shows who's got the torch if you need it. Uh, but in this case, I use two of them together to make a little raised stage with some torch light for the bard to perform to entertain everybody. And over on this wall we have, uh, I ran out of, flat wall, of solid walls so I just used a window wall but I'm covering it with the fireplace so you can't tell. Um, another little trick that I did over here is I flipped these corner posts. So these corner posts are, you know, traditionally you're building with your corner posts out like that but since there's nothing connecting to it, it kind of doesn't look as nice, so I rotated it around. So the outside of the place doesn't look as good, but the inside, now we have really smooth walls. That's a simple little building trick you can do. Similarly, in this corner I took, this is the Assassin's Perch. This thing is designed to stick to your roof and give you a playable space in your roof. You can use it as a platform to move around if you have minis running around on the roof, or if you want a sniper be up there or whatever. But in this case, I just turned it on its side like such, and I put another cask of ale in it and became like a kind of a weird corner cupboard sort of place to put some ale. Just trying to use all these little pieces to dress this place up. And then behind the bar we have the short segment of the bar as another uh, thing. And I'm trying to kind of divide this, the front section with the back section. Because back here, past we got the bartender and like his son here who's helping him serve ale. You go through this little back area, and this is supposed to be like the kitchen area. So over here, a little trick I did is I took the shutters and put them ever just so lightly in so they could stick out and they felt like a cupboard. So it looks a little crazy from the outside. Uh, you could actually also do that. It looks like an inset cupboard. Or whatever. But I was trying to make it like a little cupboard in the, uh, in the kitchen. And then here's a little back door. There's some people waiting to come in, some workers waiting right. to come in. Uh, and the back here, a little trick I did is I ran out of solid floors and I just had the one with the staircase insert. So I took these, I uh, can't even get them out. Took the barred window inserts uh, and I put two of those into the floor here uh, to seal up the floor. And that comes like a drain down to the sewers. I figured they'd just dump all the, the uh, whatever they wanted from the kitchen down in there. But that could also be an adventure hook. So perhaps it takes us down to a basement. We'll look at that in a little bit. And we have a handy ladder here just in case uh, we want to do something like that. So let's come on over here to the uh, second story of this thing. So you go up these stairs to get to the second floor. Let's put it back in to take a look. So we have this little balcony area here. 
probably structurally you would have built it over the stone part, but I wanted to put it over here so they could see the stage. There. So coming up these stairs, we have a little landing here. Uh, I've got some balconies. I built, I used the double corner post here to help hold this thing together so it's easier to lift off as one unit. On the front I have these little half corner posts and then the, the balconies kind of make it feel like it's neat rafter beams. I like the look. Uh, and then over here I took, the, uh, took one of the other ladders. I just put it sideways on its side and stuck it in here and it works like a little, uh, little railing that has an opening. So this kind of makes it like a VIP balcony over here. So you can have a, a bouncer. Maybe we have one of these guys can do like the, the bouncer with his sack of grain to keep, uh, keep people in. They can discuss shady business over here or whatnot. Another little balcony to overlook this area. If you wanted, one thing we could do is slide this thing back so we can have the whole area playable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two roofs that come with the set that we're not using. Come with the Hamlet set. I'm going to throw them up against the back slide this thing over here so now it's sitting on those roofs are supporting it so doing that and then we're gonna and how do we get up to here we're gonna take out this balcony put these stairs like such and take this ladder do that same trick this is a little there's a little opening that you can come up here with the stairs if you felt like maybe that wasn't a wide enough opening we could pop this half corner post out and then you have an even wider it's like a full inch wide and get minis up and in through there. And we have this big hole in the floor here, so I'm going to do the sort of same trick I did in the kitchen. I'm going to take these two closed shutters and we're going to stuff those into, into the floor here. And I can kind of seal up the floor. Good enough for gameplay. Maybe it's a trap door that drops you down into something. Who knows? Um, now this is, uh, now you can sort of use this whole area as one big playable space. And then finally, so we've used a huge big majority of our pieces, but we still have a bunch left. So what I did was I built out a little basement. We built we used the last pieces that we had to build a little basement area. We could be going down to the basement through the, uh, the kitchen opening. Or I put under here, we have under this table, there's a little trap door, be a little hidden, uh, hidden trap door. So you could either, we could be going down to the basement through the... Uh, the kitchen opening or through the secret trap door. You could either use this extra set of stairs to get down there or this ladder. Um, if you wanted to be one of those DMs who makes your poor first level characters like kill vermin to level up, you could fill some giant rats down here. But seriously, who wants to do that? That's just like so unimaginative and unexciting. Like, you're heroes. Let's kill something cool. So, to that end, we uh, cluttered up the back of this with sort of all the leftover accessories I had. There's even there's a corner post in here. And there's some chimneys like stuck to the wall, and a bunch of a bunch of clutter in here. And underneath all the clutter here, we have a little trap door, and that could then lead them down to a dungeon, a proper dungeon, or a catacomb, or somewhere they could fight something cool, like some cool some undead or some sort of bugbears or humanoids or something, something exciting and deadly and malicious that wants to actually kill them, not just a poor rat or a centipede or something. Uh, or there could be hidden treasure under there, or whatever. Maybe it's a secret cult, cult meeting space or who knows, whatever you want to put in the, uh, in the basement of this tavern. So that is what ails you. Neat little tavern build with one Hamlet set, one tavern accessory set, and we use one uh, townsfolk minis to populate it. So that was the What Ails You Tavern. It's the kind of build where you could grab a pumpkin spiced ale or other autumnal libations. I hope this wet your whistle for some build ideas. And if you enjoyed this content, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you won't miss out on any of our other pun-filled nonsense. We'll see you next month. Until then, it's back to the anvil.